Hey, I'm Scott Hanselman. It's Azure Friday. I'm here with Jaime Espinoza. We're talking about Azure Web Jobs. Okay, so Web Jobs. Uh, I've talked to the scheduler guy, and right. I know that I can have tasks that are scheduled on a regular basis. That's right. But I do websites. Right. And sometimes in websites, I need to run things in the background. So I usually cheat. I don't know if this is bad. I spin up a background thread sometimes. Right, right. Uh, and like, I even, and someone told me this one time, it was really bad that every thousand times someone hits his site, mm -hmm. he would notice it, and then in the begin request, spin off a background thread. Oh, right. People <laughs> love to do bad things. Well, it's a creative way of solving a, a very uh, common problem, right? What is the common problem? The common problem is that you need, for your websites, you need to have uh, some kind of background processing, right? Whether it's, say, aggregating your sales for the day if you have uh, an online store or for the for the month or the week or, you know, you have different different needs uh, throughout the uh, the different kind of websites that you have. Right. Reporting, log cleanup, but exactly. stuff that's in the context of a website. Right. Right. So we we looked at the at the problem space and we found that there is a couple of different ways in which we can solve this, right? We can provide uh, a way for jobs to be scheduled whenever like on on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, and also a way to have a job constantly running. The constantly running jobs, for example, would look at uh, activity that's happening inside your website mm -hmm. okay, and uh, react to that activity. Okay, um, So this is basically a continuously running task or, or service. Okay, I have here on the screen just a, just a quick overview as to the different kinds of running modes that Web Jobs provides. Right? We have um, we have basically what are tasks, which is triggered. It's something that is invoked either by the user okay. or by a helper service such as the Azure Scheduler, okay. Okay, which basically just, just, just triggers a job. Uh, the, these are just HTTP requests that are protected using your deployment credentials. So I could make a task like clean up logs yeah. that would require me to visit a certain website. Exactly. And just that's the trigger. Yeah. But I don't want to visit the website all the time, so then I might do a helper service exactly. or something like that. Exactly, okay. and, and I mean, there's uh, there's different ways in which you can leverage what you know the, the platform and do uh, just about anything that you're you're needing to do okay. right now. Uh, the one thing to 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 keep in mind, and I think this is this is lost a little bit, is that uh, since this the the tasks are triggered. Uh, HTTP requests, uh, they function very much like a regular website traffic. Okay, Okay. so, so if I understand what you're saying though, that if it's a web farm, right. when HTTP traffic comes in, I don't know if I'm on web 1 or web exactly. 7, Exactly. the same thing applies to jobs? The same thing applies to the trigger jobs. It will go to whichever uh, of your instances is least loaded or least used, depending on the algorithm that you've selected for your load balancer, because there's a way to configure the load balancer for Azure websites. Okay. Um, so that is different from how the continuous jumps run. Okay. The continuous jumps. Okay. So I'll just give you bird's eye view again. It's uh, it's meant to be a background service that just monitors. Uh, the the state of a program that is running, and if for whatever reason this program is not running, we go ahead and invoke it for you. Okay, uh, this there is a little bit of a lag, obviously, in between the detection and invocation. So you can expect I don't know maybe five seconds in between uh, of lag in between those things. Uh, Always on is a service that actually helps us uh, have the website as well as the job. Continuously running. It's a warm up. It keeps so, it going all the time. Exactly. Exactly. Right. It keeps the site warmed up. Uh, it does basically the same thing as a continuous job service for jobs mm -hmm. at a website level, right? It monitors the website, and if it happens to go down for whatever reason, it goes and, and restarts it or warms it up. Okay? okay. Things that will happen to bring a site or a job down is that uh, some kind of error happened. Uh, it got upgraded. The underlying operating system got upgraded. There was some kind of other maintenance thing, or uh, it's just not not seeing any traffic for an amount of time, and the, the, it gets dereferenced from memory. 
Um, one thing I wanted to ask was, do you think that since, uh, like you say here, it runs on all available instances, mm -hmm. unless you're saying it runs in one, right? Uh, or when it come when a job comes in, uh, it's load balanced and it ends up on Web Seven. Right. If the kind of task that you're doing is an intensely CPU uh, intensive job mm -hmm. or a really hard on the database or difficult on the disk drive job, right. resizing images. Right. Maybe that's not a web jobs appropriate thing because you'd be then slowing down that machine that's really supposed to be doing web work. Exactly. So the jobs uh, run on top of the same uh, infrastructure that the website. So you're contending for resources right, at the right, end of right. the day. Uh, but you can always farm the heavy loads onto something else. Right, you can use a web job as a platform to 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 trigger and manage jobs that are in a worker role or HD Insight, mm. depending on how big the, the job that you're actually trying to run is, um, or anything else really. You I see. Just use it as a management. So this isn't trying to be uh, the end all be all for no. scheduled tasks and background work. No. Uh, nor is it trying to be uh, you know a, a, another worker role worker role 2.0. Right. It's lightweight web worker roles. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, there is a gap, right? So for example, on the aggregation of sales for the, for the day, that's a job that will take 10 seconds to run. Uh, there is little to no sense of spinning up this huge worker role to run a 10 second job. Uh, this fills the gap in between where websites is today and where worker roles start. You know? That makes total sense. Yeah. So there isn't any any overlap there. Um, the web jobs is managed, so everything is much easier to do. I think that that is the only the only the, one of the major differences. If you wanted to st say uh, uh, spin up a, a a small application, okay, uh, you can do it within one minute uh, on web jobs. You don't have to sp you don't have to create VMs, connect to it, RDP, and do all the things that you would. With a worker role, mm -hmm. that's that's one of the other differences then that we see here. Okay, how quickly can we make one then? All right, let's see. Okay, so this is websites. Okay, right. within the websites, uh, in I have a website called Container One. Because in essence, that's what the websites are I for for, for so this example. I right? just a container for my jobs. Okay, just to make sure people understand, you named the website container. Yeah, one. I named the container one. Just I was uh, trying to experiment with some other ideas uh, of how to leverage web jobs for more interesting applications. But gotcha. Uh, so there's a web jobs tab currently in preview. Uh, which will give you the basically like a task manager. It gives you the name of, of your task, the status of it, the, the schedule, if it was running continuously on some kind of schedule, or if you're doing it manually, and uh, a little bit of statistics as to how this well, is so happening. And, and immediately, I already see value as a web guy because yeah. it's here's one website. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a management API. I can see I've got three different jobs running. Uh, one's stopped, one's on schedule, one's continuous. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I've done a lot of bad stuff in my many, many years in software. In software? And uh, uh, background jobs that have been hacked together mm. are not something that I'm proud of. <laughs> and, uh, in, 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 and I know what my friend Clemens Vasters is probably pretty proud of the work we did on DOS Blog that involved basically an application start firing off background threads that are just, you know, Wow, it's supposed to, it's just awful, awful stuff. <laughs> it was never meant to be done that way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are these running in the context of, of of IIS, or are they running on the virtual machine as a buddy or a friend or in a, a different service? It runs parallel to W three W P processes. Okay. So it's uh, it's being managed by IIS, but not um, a. I, I struggle to, 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 to see how to, like the overlap that really I want to get in the way that, of, that of a web is it, it's, it's not going it's to, it's on the same virtual machine that I'm not thinking about because right. this is platform as exactly. a service. There's a virtual machine here that yeah. I don't care about. Right. You're on the virtual machine with me. Exactly. Uh, are you in my website? In the website. Like, uh, like parallel to the website. Okay. So you're okay. not, you know, 
HTTP requests and responses are coming and going, and that's just you're not concerned about those things at all. You're not. No, no, we're not. We're not seeing those. This is actually on a different. Um, uh, it's being managed on a different part of of uh, your VM, basically. Okay. Yeah. So if I went into the Kudu Secret Debug Console mm -hmm. that we talked about on Azure Friday once before, oh, yeah. and used the processes, right? Uh, uh, RESTful API, I would see another process, you would another, see, another PID. Yeah, exactly. And that's actually very important because each one of these, since this is a process that you can see, you can also debug. Ah, so each of these is individual. Yeah, every one of those is individual. That's and, useful. And it's its own process. It has the name of the exe that you're running. This is just the name of the job inside of it. It's mm. the name of the exe. And, well, you can go in and debug it. Okay, okay. That's cool. That's cool. So each of these is a separate executable living in a directory on my system deployed with my website. That's right. So uh, I can make a console app that does something. I test it locally. I say it looks great. Mm -hmm. And then I can run my console app on my web server. Mm -hmm. And it makes my console thing becomes my web thing. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> We're going to dig more into that here on Azure Friday. Thank mm -hmm. you.